Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Top 5 series in which I talk about five topics that I would really like to talk about today. And today, we're going to be talking about E3, so thank you for listening, and we will get into this topic right now. First thing I would like to see is a Sony press conference and the console itself. For the most part, everything was behind closed doors other than what was revealed initially, which was a really good start, but honestly, we haven't seen much since then. And given the nature of when it was released, there wasn't really much else after that. Like, it was just a couple games, uh, they showed our, they showed us the architecture, told us a couple things, and then that was it. Like, after that, it was just no other releases. I think they released that one trailer for that game that was, a. Uh, it was like some dinosaur game, and that was it. Other than that, I would also like to see uh, what the user interface looks like. Other than the XMB, I mean, we don't know if it's going to be the XMB again. So I would like to see what's, what it's going to be, because, I mean, when it comes down to user interfaces, if it's complicated, then that's going to be annoying. So I want to see how this is going to work out. For the most part, when they showed the streaming uh, footage, like when somebody was streaming and people were watching him, and spectating him it seemed pretty sleek and clean but for the most part i want to see how that translates to the rest of the system not just the stream interface so i would like to see all of that for now microsoft's conference to many people including me was a bombshell but the more i thought into it i figured they focus on a specific market this conference that didn't necessarily include me and that's why I didn't really like it that much and I'm pretty sure that that's the same thoughts for a lot of people. Um, there were a couple of nice things that they showed but there's still too many bad speculations on Microsoft's doorstep for them to not come out and speak on them. E3 will either make or break the Xbox One so if they don't come out and capture all of their audience they will essentially be shooting themselves in the foot and not with the garden hose that you used to use when you were a kid. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. There's not really much I can say about Nintendo other than I don't even really know what games are on the Wii U right now. The fact that many people still think that the Wii U is just an accessory for the Wii makes Nintendo in an extremely terrible position right now. I hope for Nintendo's sake that they bring out some games that people loved and got Nintendo consoles for. I'm not talking about more Mario or Sonic games, I'm talking their key franchises. Games that people will know and they will notice them and they will look for them, meaning they will come and they will notice that it's not on the original Wii, it's on this thing called the Wii U and they will go to get the Wii U for that specifically because they love those franchises. E3 itself has been going down for the past couple of years due to developers just coming out and doing the same thing every year. I blame that mostly on the developers, but within itself, E3 as a presentation needs to have some new things coming out this year. I would like to see some new game genres and IPs that are coming out. There's pretty much the same games being shown year after year, first person shooters, third person shooters, uh, some kind of action game that has to do with some kind of cliche uh, background. I want to see some kind of really thing that will catch my interest. There's a lot of games that are coming out now that are mostly indie games that are catching my attention more than the the bigger titles out these days because people are just mainly milking the franchises and it's getting really annoying. I would like to see some really nice new things and not even, it doesn't have to be new genres or IPs within itself, just at least try and incorporate some new things that will be interesting. That's about it. I want some good reboots, finally. That's all I want. I want some good reboots of games that deserve to come back and should be back. I mean, they've been bringing back a lot of games that don't need to come back. There are so many games that should come back that people know and they don't bring it back. Kingdom Hearts, people have been asking for that for years, years, and more years, and it never came back. All they want is Kingdom Hearts 3. They would throw a million dollars into a hole 
if that meant that Kingdom Hearts 3 were to come magically out of it. I wish that they, they would have done Tenchu right. That was one of my favorite series. They didn't do it right. They brought it back and they did it wrong. Tenchu Z was the last one that I remember. You got other games that you can possibly bring back. <clears throat> I just want them to do it right. If you're going to bring something back, announce it and do it right. That's all I ask of you developers. Please bring back some old franchises, but do them right. It's good to see that one of my other favorite games, Star Wars Battlefront 3, is finally going to be made by DICE. But... There's no really words on it right now, but hopefully it comes out as the best, and, you know, that's all we can do at this point in time. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, so peace out.